Hey everybody, I'm Chef Teddy B, and this is Made Scratch Texas. In today's episode, we are coming to you from the kitchen of Scratch Catering and Fine Foods corporate headquarters in South Lake, Texas. So today's episode is our Tex Cajun cuisine. And what do we mean by Tex Cajun cuisine? We're gonna put a Texas spin on some tried and true Cajun favorites. Some jalapeno cheddar grits, pan seared shrimp, accompanied by some seafood gumbo served over white rice. So what do you say we get started? All right, so we're gonna start with our jalapeno cheddar grits. And to get this party started, we're gonna start with two cups of unsalted butter. Get it here in our pot. And we're gonna saute one cup of white onion and about one cup of diced jalapeno. And for this, we're gonna leave the seeds in it because some like it spicy. When you're sauteing the onions and the jalapenos, you wanna do it till the onions become translucent, kind of a milky white substance. That way we know they're fully cooked and the jalapenos will have a nice soft tenderness about them as well. So we're cooking over natural gas today, so if you're cooking over gas at home, you want it the heat kind of on a medium to high. That way we're not gonna burn the onions, but we put a nice quick cook on them. So our onions have now been quickly sauteed. Jalapenos have been sauteed. So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add four cups of whole milk. We're gonna add three cups of regular house tap water. We are going to add two cups of processed cheese we've diced. We're gonna add two cups of diced cream cheese. And we're gonna add four tablespoons of minced garlic. So what we're gonna do at this time is we're gonna let the milk and the waters come to a slight simmering boil. We're gonna allow our solid cheese uh, solids to melt. Once we kind of start getting a slow boil going on the milk, we will add our grits and our cheddar cheese. So come on back and join us for the next. Welcome back. So we've got our liquid form rolling right now. So what we have in the pot is butter with some sauteed onions, jalapenos, four cups of milk, three cups of water. Now we're gonna add our spices. I'm doing two teaspoons of sea salt, two teaspoons of coarse black pepper, and two teaspoons of our Cajun seasoning. Stir these in. As you can see, the pot has got a nice rolling boil. We'll turn this down to a low simmer. And at this time, we're gonna add four cups of our sharp cheddar cheese. Stir this in to get a nice consistent mix. And we're gonna add two cups of our stone ground corn grits. Slowly add those in, spread them around. Make sure everything is nice, stirred, consistent. We're continually stirring through the whole process. We do not want the cheeses to be sticking and burning to the bottom of the pot. And that's it. Now we just sit and wait about 10 minutes for the grits to continue to cook out and get done. And we'll start with the pan searing shrimp next. Y'all come back and join us. From the most casual get-togethers to the grandest affairs, Scratch Catering has mastered the art of catering in Dallas-Fort Worth. And it's not just our food, but our personal touch and exceptional service that sets us apart. Why settle for anything not made Scratch? Trust Scratch Catering to make every event memorable. Hey everybody, welcome back. So y'all just seen us cook the grits. We've got them in the pot, they're done. Always like to taste test everything, make sure the spice level's right. Nice, 
Mm. Oh my goodness, spot on. So we're gonna leave the grits sit over here and stay warming on the uh, cooktop. Let's get started with the pan seared shrimp. So for the pan seared shrimp, I've got eight jumbo golf size shrimp. They've been patted dry. Gonna put them in our stainless steel bowl. And the seasoning mix I like to use for them, I like about a tablespoon of some granulated garlic, tablespoon crushed red pepper, tablespoon of chili powder, teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of our favorite Cajun seasoning, and a tablespoon of coarse black pepper. Now when all the kids are in the pool, we're gonna slightly toss the shrimp, make sure they're all evenly coated. And once the shrimp are coated, you're gonna look at them and they're gonna have a nice, heavy texture of seasoning on them. So now that the shrimp have a nice coating of seasoning on them, let's get them in the pan. So all of our jumbo gulf shrimp have now been adequately seasoned. And to blacken these shrimp, we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of salted butter. We're gonna get that nice and pan sizzling. So once the butter melts, they'll probably cook in about two to three minutes and give a nice sear on each side. So our fire's now ready for the pan seared shrimp. Shrimp hit the pot. And what we're gonna look for and when I have a shrimp done is they're gonna get a nice pink hue to them. So again, we're gonna let them go for about two minutes aside. We'll flip them, finish them off, and we'll be ready to plate. Y'all come back and join us for the plating. Okay, so the shrimp have been on for about a minute and a half to two minutes. We've just flipped them. And you can see right here, they've got a nice little pan sear to them. And remember we talked about that nice pink hue to it. You can kind of see the shrimp. They're just about done. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the fire to off. And we're gonna let them finish off. And we have got eight beautifully cooked gulf shrimp. How about that? All right, folks, let's go ahead and plate up our dinner. So we've got the jalapeno cheddar grits on the cooktop. It's a nice, healthy portion. And always want to make a pretty plate and we're going to garnish it off with some fresh parsley. And there's our jalapeno cheddar grits with some pan seared shrimp. Y'all enjoy. Whether you're celebrating with friends or savoring a moment of solitude, every sip is a journey through time. A taste of the tradition and a nod to the pioneers who blazed the trail before us. Discover the heart and soul of the American spirit. Land Run Distillery. Premium whiskeys, rooted in tradition. Hey everybody, welcome back. So you guys just watched us make our pan seared shrimp, some jalapeno cheddar grits. And after a meal like that and smelling all the goodness, it's time to have a little sip of our Land Run bourbon. We really appreciate Land Run, who's our title sponsor. Land Run coming soon in 2024 out of the great state of Oklahoma. Next dish on our Tex Cajun cuisine is gonna be our seafood gumbo with a Texas flair. So let's get started. So the basis of a good seafood gumbo is gonna be the roux, and roux are a labor of love. I like to start with two sticks of salted butter, and that's gonna go in the pot. We're gonna slightly get the salted butter melted. All right, so we have two sticks of salted butter melted in the pot. Now to make the basis of the roux, we have one heaping cup of all-purpose flour. and our pot's on a medium heat, so we're gonna just keep continually stirring this, and what we're gonna look for is a nice, rich brown color. And that'll take about five minutes, and basically what we're doing is cooking the butter and the flour throughout to develop the base of the roux. 
So the salted butter and the flour have kind of congealed in the pot. Now we're going to add a little extra virgin olive oil to break it down. And this will continue to let us saute the roux until we develop that rich brown color. All right, so while this is sauteing, y'all come back and join us. Welcome back everybody. So the roux has been going for about three to four minutes. And as you can tell, we've got that rich, nice brown consistency we're looking for. We're gonna go ahead and turn the fire down to a little bit low. We'll get the rest of the ingredients in. So we're gonna start with six cups of chicken broth. We'll go ahead and take the opportunity now to stir that broth in with the roux. And you want to keep scraping the sides down. You don't want any of that roux to burn on the side of your pot. Take a nice wire mixer. And again, our fire's on a low to medium heat. Get everything stirred in nice consistently. So we've got our six cups of chicken broth in the pot. We're gonna go with three stalks of celery, completely the heads and everything rough chopped. We're gonna do one white onion that we've rough chopped. We're gonna do one whole green bell pepper. We're gonna do three whole jalapenos with the seeds in it. This is gonna kind of give us the Tex Cajun flair, if you will. And we're gonna do one whole bunch of parsley that we've chopped. And for our seasonings, I wanna do two tablespoons of sea salt. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of coarse pepper. I wanna do two tablespoons of our favorite Cajun seasoning. Now, after all the ingredients are in the pot, we're gonna add six more cups of water. And that's gonna give us a nice thinned out consistency. And again, we're just on a slow to low medium heat. Now we're gonna add our proteins. I've got 12 Gulf shrimp that we've diced and we put these in there raw because they're going to simmer long enough in the, in the uh, mix that they will cook themselves out. Another aspect of what makes this our Tex Cajun cuisine is we have a jalapeno cheddar sausage that we've grilled over hickory, sliced it. And this is about four links of sausage and then I've got three cups of roughly diced grilled chicken breast. And then lastly, we have four cloves of fresh garlic that we've minced. And folks, it's that easy. That is our Tex Cajun gumbo. And we're gonna let it simmer for probably 45 minutes to an hour before we plate. Y'all come back and join us for the final plating. Hey everybody, welcome back. So 45 minutes later, our gumbo is done. While we were away, I took the liberty to make some white rice. Now let's go ahead and plate up this beautiful Tex Cajun seafood gumbo. We're gonna take the white rice, put in a nice clear uh, bowl. It'll make for a very nice presentation. Put it in our dish, slowly pull it away. Nice pretty presentation of rice. Now let's get us a nice heaping ladle of some gumbo. Oh goodness, we left the sausage. Let's see if we can get some shrimp and chicken in there. There we go. Oh my goodness. So now we've got a beautiful plate of Tex Cajun gumbo. Nice piece of sausage, some shrimp, some chicken. Let's go ahead and finish it off with a garnish with some fresh chopped parsley. And some of my favorite Valentina sauce. It's never spicy enough for Chef Teddy B. And folks, there you go. Tex Cajun gumbo enjoyed with a nice glass of Land Run bourbon. Salute. Welcome back everybody. Well that's going to be a wrap for us today on our Tex Cajun cuisine. 
kind of recapping everything today. We made our amazing shrimp and grits, and that's a jalapeno cheddar grit with some Gulf pan seared blackened shrimp, followed up by our Tex Cajun seafood gumbo. And what made that the Tex Cajun? We use jalapeno, we use jalapeno cheddar sausage, shrimp, and seasoned chicken. Made over some fresh rice with a wonderful roux base gumbo. Every meal's not complete unless I have a wonderful glass of land run bourbon. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Salud.